Hi guys, I'm Aloy Andalus from Ambifex.com and this is a video presentation for Radius Effector 2. Uh, Radius Effector is a tool for thinking particles. I, um, you need thinking particles to, to run the, this tool, but you, will, you don't need to know thinking particles because you will have a lot of parameters in the modifier where, from where you will control everything. Um, Radius Effector um, is used to animate a lot of objects in uh, near real time. You can affect the position, the rotation and the scale and it's based on different external objects. These external objects uh, based on distance to these objects will define how much will move your, your geometry. Uh, the Radius Effector 2 use uh, Thinking Particles 5 because I am using uh, bullet physics that it's really powerful and really fast. Uh, you will see you will see how flexible is it. So let's just start with the scene. Um, this is here I have a lot of objects. It's box. I have near to 100 plus 100. It's near 200. You can animate more than thousand of objects. Uh, below 1000 objects it's totally real time. I am running this on a very cheap laptop. Um, I have uh, five, uh, 4 gigs of RAM, uh, 520 mobile graphic card uh, and you will see that it's quite flexible. So this is only boxes. Uh, there is two colors only to so we, we rotate you will see the different stage of the objects. Uh, the only thing that I will, you will need to do is to merge your scene. So import, merge, you have to merge your radius effector uh, to pro. This tutorial is for pro, but in my webpage there is a light version where there is a lot of functions um, and it's quite, quite useful too. You have a lot of objects, select everything. You will see that not everything appears on the scene, some things are in layers but it's need for radius effector in order to work. So you have radius effector right now on your scene. There is basically radius effector 2 object that you can access here in the TP uh, object and also you have six effectors. You will see that you can select effector 1, 2, 3. These effectors will affect your object and here you have all the parameters to start working. Very fast, in properties you will see all what's going on in inside, in, in, inside Radius Effector 2. Sorry. Um, radius Influence is the general properties of the tool. We will see this after. Here you add all the objects to uh, which objects do you want to affect. And you have position, a scale and rotation to affect these different parameters. You have physics with only one button. You will affect, you will have physics on your objects with collisions and everything. Using bullet physics, you will see that it's super fast. And also you, you have export options. So when you have your animation, you can export and reuse it in a computer without thinking particles or simply cache your um, effects and create different layers of effects. So start working on. We want to add this in Radius Effector. You need to select your Radius Effector 2 object. Go to Object to Particles and we will add here all our objects. Select Pick. You can pick one by one, but since there is a lot of objects, open a list and select all your objects. In my case, it's all the box. Don't select the vectors, since the vectors is the objects that we will need after. Select only one of them. Select change affect all, so all the objects will affect. Uh, I want to instance the shape, so this shape will be inside thinking particles. And also hide the objects. You can hide from here or from the normal 3ds Max panel, hide. So now these objects, if you select it, you will see that you go to radius effector to objects. But this is done. Anything will happen right now because we don't have anything select to affect. We don't have position, scale, or rotation. If you want to see something going on, uh, go to a scale, for example, select on. There is nothing working on, but if you move one effector inside, you will see that it's working. So let's see the effectors. The effectors, as you can see, it's quite easy. Uh, you move one effector on your geometry, 
and right now we select the, the scale to be affected so we are affecting the scale uh, only to see what's happening we will see it after but in uh, in the scale we have the parameters where the where the objects are inside the or radius effector right now it's 100 percent this means it's a original scale and when it's outside of uh, or effector it's zero so if you go to the top view let's select this if we go to the top view and you will see that every effector has two two helpers one is a red one this is the inside the radius and the yellow one is the outside of the radius. So outside of the yellow one it's 0% the scale, inside it's 100% as you can see. Uh, effectors it's always based on the pivot point so you have to see in these boxes the pivot point is on the middle so if it's inside the pivot point is on inside the radius will be considered as inside. And between inside and outside there is a falloff curve that we can control after. Uh, let's see more things. In every in every effector, you have a custom attribute that is controlling a bunch of uh, things inside a radius effector too. Uh, we can control the radius. The radius is the red one. So if we increase to 50, for example, you see the radius increase. We have also uh, the falloff, the falloff is from the red one to the yellow one, right now it's 20, let's increase to 50, so we will have more um, a more falloff curve from here to here. Um, we have the random select, random select works like um, uh, selecting random uh, positions to it, right now Everything inside is considered 100, but if you want that this is not so uniform, you can go to 1, for example, and you will see that right now we don't have so much uniform uh, selection. You can go to crazy values and creating different effects. Uh, quite cool, can be cool for different stuff this. Also we have the max influence, for the max influence we will need, let's add this to zero to confuse, how it works max influence, let's say that we have different effectors, we, you can use all the effectors at the same time on the same objects, the only thing that you have to do is to select one and go close to the, your objects and every, as you can see, every effector has his own attributes so we can change this, increasing this falloff and this will have one falloff and this another and you can use as many as you want with this you can go really crazy in your setups I think that opens uh, the door to a lot of nice. You can animate everything. You can animate the, your effectors in position. You can animate all these values. You can animate the values parameters inside radius effector 2. It's fully customizable. Let's see what is the max influence. And also, for example, in this one, we will say that the random select is like 2. So in this one, wait, in this one, we have a not so uniform selection. Let's say that we want this to be at 50% of the max influence. So this means that instead of be 100 inside will be 50. But when one of these we can add another 50% to this, so this will have be 50% and 50%. So when you combine one with another finally do the 100%. So with this you can animate this and after animate the other one or you can animate one that is a uniform scale with one with non-uniform scale to create more crazy values. So plenty of options in only with playing with the, with the factors and let's move on.